Today we're going to be looking at two ways we like to cut top sirloin for our meat case. So we're going to be trimming off some orange skin and some fat here to get these primal cups prepped. First we're going to start with our standard way that we like to cut top sirloins to nice big steaks. We're going to start here on the more gristly side. We have a 10 inch knife here that we'll cut right through. We'll cut our portions about one inch to an inch and a quarter. It helps to have a longer knife to do this to try to cut uniform cuts. When I get toward the end, sometimes I will just trim off the outside and do a butterfly cut to get the most I can out of this primal cut. Next, we'll do some trimming on those steaks to give them about a quarter inch of fat. This is our picanha chunk. We like to cut that up for stew or for steaks. If you're digging this video, go ahead and smash that like button and comment in the comments below if there's any particular cuts of meat that you want to see us cut. So now that we got those all trayed up and ready for the meat case, we're gonna cut it in an alternative way, suggested by the Beef Alternative Merchandising, which is called BAM. We're gonna trim off some of that fat, and then we're gonna peel off the top cap or picanha muscle from the center roast. Just gonna follow the seams of the muscle with our knife, and we'll cut off that picanha to do some dressing a little bit later. Now I'm gonna trim off some more of the fat here from the center cut top sirloins and we're gonna make some nice fillets out of these. So again, we charge a little bit more for sirloin fillets. They portion up nice if you're having a steak dinner and you wanna plate something that's not so big, probably eight to 12 ounces. I'm gonna make a cut right down the middle of that top sirloin and then we're gonna go ahead and try to cut those portions in about an inch to an inch and a quarter. You can go up to an inch and a half if you like. Sometimes we'll wrap these with bacon and do bacon wrapped sirloin fillets. If you can't afford filet mignon, bacon wrapped top sirloin is the way to go. So now we're gonna go ahead and repeat that process with the other side of the top sirloin. These will be center cut top sirloin fillets. So we'll get ready to tray those, but now we're gonna do a little trimming on the picanha or sirloin cap muscle. You wanna trim off the silver skin and orange skin from this particular cut of meat as those things don't render well when you're cooking. If you like watching Guja Foods, he's got some tutorials on cooking picanha. And there's a couple different ways to cut this muscle. I'm gonna trim off a little bit of fat, but leave some of it. Now you can cut these horizontally into baseball steaks, or if you wanna cut them Guja style, you can cut them lengthwise for picanhas. Very popular in South America. I'm gonna go ahead and merchandise these as sirloin cap steaks or the baseball steaks today. So we'll trim off a little fat on those, and then we'll go ahead and tray the rest of those with the center cut fillets. So now you are a top sirloin pro. You've learned how to cut it and merchandise it in two different ways for your meat case. We want to thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and give us a like button down below. Let us know in the comments if there's any particular or special cuts of meat that you'd like to see a showcase and subscribe for more carnivorian content. Have a nice steak. We'd also like to make a special shout out to the Knutson brothers. That's me and my brother Gabe. And that's our song coming back for more that you've been listening to while watching this video. Thanks for watching.